Welcome to The Great Books, an interdisciplinary program in the Harriet College of Arts and Sciences. Our faculty offer unique seminars in the Socratic method on topics across all fields of study. We've tried to create an intimate universe within the university devoted to these books that need to be read again and again throughout life. Books that changed the world and gave rise to new fields of study. We strive to foster the skills of close reading and lucid writing and to create a culture in which faculty don't lecture, but engage in a free exchange and philosophical discourse with students. You can learn more about our program online at greatbooks.ecu.edu. In the short video that follows, I'll try to give you a brief idea of what to expect from a great books education at ECU. The director of great books is Dr. Helena Fetter. She will also be the advisor of great books majors and minors. She's in the Department of English, where she works on literature, science, and the environment, and her office is in the Irwin Building. There are also participating faculty from the Department of Anthropology, working on archaeology and ancient technology, from biology, working on Darwin, literature and the environment, genetics, from English, working on Dante and the English classics, Chaucer, Spencer, Shakespeare, but also on world literature, including modern Chinese literature, there are faculty from the Department of Foreign Languages and Literatures who work on the Greek and Roman classics. My name is John Stevens, but we also have uh, faculty working on German literature. There are faculty from the Department of History working on archaeological topics, Greek and Roman history, but also Middle Eastern history and Arabic language and literature, and faculty from the Department of Philosophy uh, working on ancient philosophy and on ethics from Plato to Thoreau. The heart of the Great Books program is its seminars with the GRBK prefix. Faculty have created six different courses, beginning with 2000, an introduction to the Great Books, and it's usually offered on topics. So in the past we've offered the Great Books of Love, which began with the Song of Solomon and continued through Ovid and Plato and Shakespeare and so on as you see. We've also offered it on great books of war, great books of strategy, the meaning of life, and most recently on the relationship between the mind and the body. This introductory seminar is designed to expose students to a variety of different forms and genres of writing that proceed from the ancient world to the modern world, but all organized around one great question. After the introductory seminar, the courses are divided up chronologically. The Greek and Roman classics are provided by CLAS 2220 and 2230 offered in the classics program. The first course covers works from Homer to Aristophanes and the second from Lucretius to Plutarch. The Great Books of the Middle Ages and Renaissance 2400 covers authors such as Augustine's Confessions, Dante's Divine Comedy, the Essays of Montaigne, and so on. In each of these courses on a period of history, we try to discover what questions the authors thought were most important. What is the spirit that animates the Middle Ages and the Renaissance? What is the nature of the conscience of divine theology and cosmology? What is the nature of the city in the Renaissance? And how should we use satire to criticize ourselves? What is the nature of philosophy itself by which we might govern ourselves? One of the great things about the great books is that we get to take time with a text to ask a great question like, you know, what is the enlightenment? What does it mean to be enlightened? And one of the great challenges of these courses and of all of the literature that we work with is developing a sensitivity to perspective, realizing that our own first assumptions may not be correct. That there may be different perspectives between men and women or between our age and ages that have gone before. And that things that have been held up to us as models may not be entirely perfect or as beautiful as marble, but may have things that we should be aware of and cautious of, that perhaps we should be more critical of the past while learning from it. There's no other place in the university where one can pause to ask how the modern world got the way it is by looking at original sources in political history, psychology, biology, and literature side by side. For better or worse, we face a world shaped by doctrines of revolution, evolution, and theories of mind and gender that we must study if we want to know where the world is headed next. And so, in Great Books 2600, we read, discuss, and interrogate original works by Marx, Freud, Darwin, and de Beauvoir. We devote a second seminar to the other force that is directing the evolution of our world, 
Modern Science, in Great Books 3001. It may seem strange to have a humanities seminar on the sciences, but these two great branches of learning must communicate with one another if our world is to survive. And Great Books is a place where that can happen at ECU. Neil deGrasse Tyson, who lectured here not long ago, is famous for saying that the great thing about science is that it's true whether you believe it or not. He was urging us to see science as factual and demonstrably provable, unlike religious faith. But what the humanities can teach us about science is that it originates in skepticism, and that the nature of human knowledge, which is what the word science means, is that it's incomplete and imperfect. There's always more to know. Just as Newton was succeeded by Einstein, and Fukushima succeeded Three Mile Island and Chernobyl, science requires not faith, but a certain distrust of what our senses tell us, that the world is not flat, but round. The only way to connect science with truth, as it turns out, is to express what we observe in very precise language that captures the limit of our experience of reality. Not only that, but in 3001, we study scientific writing and reflect upon the vital role of imagination and curiosity in the mind of a true scientist. In the senior seminar, Great Books 4000, we undertake to answer some great topic in an interdisciplinary way, looking at how to combine all of our skills together across different kinds of poetry and experience. Lately, we've been cross-listing the seminar with the Classics Seminar so that these two groups of students can get together to discuss some great problem of the ancient world, like how is philosophy integrated into poetry? What is the nature of a city? How does uh, its design and its culture portray a coherent self-conception? Or how was a great work like the Odyssey received in the ancient world? Or what is it that brings about the fall of a republic? What are the causes of its demise? And how can we see it happening? Through the BA in Multidisciplinary Studies, it's also possible to pursue a major in great books. A concentration in great books consists of a total of 30 semester hours, four core courses from these great books seminars and the Greek and Roman literature or modern Chinese literature courses, two capstone courses from the great books of science and the senior seminar, or including the possibility of doing a senior thesis, 4999, and then four more courses from the great books list of electives. If you're not sure you want to do a major in great books, it's also possible to use our seminars with a GRBK prefix to satisfy the general education requirement in humanities. Or if you'd like to do a little bit more, you can also get a minor in great books. The 18 semester hour minor has a core of three courses using our seminars, and then electives that are three more courses from this list of great books electives. The Great Books Electives list has courses from classics, such as Greek tragedy, from English, such as major British and American writers of the works of Shakespeare or the Bible, from foreign language on subjects like Don Quixote, from history on Greek and Roman history or the European Enlightenment, from medieval and Renaissance studies, from philosophy, and from political science with their intro to political theory and religious studies texts on classical Islam and Buddhism and the Bible, and also from Russian studies. When considering how to graduate in four years with a degree in great books, it's important to understand that we offer usually one of these great books seminars each semester, but that there are also certain courses that are offered on a regular basis. So the classics program offers 2220 and 2230 each fall and spring, and the great book senior seminar is offered each spring. But other than that, you'll want to set up your schedule so that you take at least one great book seminar or elective each semester. It's possible to do a great books major in as little as about two years, but you'll have a much broader exposure to the breadth of all of our great literature if you begin right away as a freshman. One of the advantages of beginning right away is that you may have the opportunity to double or triple major like a lot of our students do. If you look over that list of great books electives, you'll see that there are 10 courses from the English department that could double count between their major and the great books major. So also there are six in classics, five in philosophy, and four in religion. 
I hope this introduction has been helpful to you and that you may be interested in pursuing the great books further. If you are, please contact our director, Helena Fetter, at her email address below, fetterh at ecu.edu. We look forward to hearing from you.